Good morning everyone, I'm back in my apartment and as you can see uh, lots of noise from outside but whatever, I'm, I already got used to it. Now what's the plan? I want to go to Netanya again because when I was with Eva on, on Friday it was right before Shabbat and you couldn't do their shit and also the weather wasn't really nice that much so I want to go today there, I want to explore some shops there because I heard Netanya got lots of outlets later on going to pick up Eva and then we will go to a different city and then you will meet there somebody whom you haven't met before or I will give you a hint he was already in on one video of mine on my channel. Stay tuned and let's go to Netanya. Tel Aviv is usually congested during the day and crawling through the traffic is absolutely normal. As soon as I hit the motorway, it changed to a smooth ride with driving the maximum speed limit of 110 km per hour. With that kind of speed, I'm within only a few minutes in Netanya. This was a very, very tight spot to get in and I barely even came out from here because of this sign here because he has here lots of space to open up the door comfortably well, I have to get squeezed out there if he makes a bump with his shitty Citroen C4 then, oh, actually nothing will happen. I don't have to pay damage for my car. And you know what? This is only because I bought the additional insurance because here, the people, they drive like crazy. But hey, let's go to the outlet center. To be honest with you guys, this place doesn't have a lot of things here anyway. Um, the weather looks a little bit bleak, it's windy, it's cloudy AF, but whatever. I saw that there was also an Adidas store, I want to find that one. Um, the Colombian North Face outlet didn't have anything in particular. Um, just nothing what I like or nothing in my size, so let's find the Adidas store. Finally I'm back at the parking now, this dude parked a little bit better, I don't think that there is a scratch, but whatever, I don't even care, let's just get in, and to my little Chevy, what the fuck are those niggas saying man? Chevy, Chevy what man. the fuck are these niggas saying man? <laughs> There we go, and... The Adidas outlet there was closed, but I saw on Google that there... Um, that the Adidas outlet moved. It's not very far from here, right? And um, just a few blocks. Oh my god, why am I going right, left? I actually wanted to go straight, yet. Now I need to make another U-turn. Instead of vlogging, I should do driving. So this is the place, well, eBay Israel headquarters and there, not only Adidas but also Reebok. I'm really, really excited. The Adidas and Reebok outlet share the store for some unknown reason, what seems quite unusual to me. Well, never mind. More brands in one store is always a great idea. There is a whole bunch of clothes in the store and you won't have trouble to find anything in your size and price range. The stuff is quite affordable and even with a low budget you're going to get fresh branded clothes without hurting your wallet. There's also a nice variety of shoes too. But I really prefer the ones from Nike over Adidas and Reebok. I took with me a few t-shirts to try them on in the fitting rooms. Enjoy the little fashion show.
So guys, got some stuff from the Adidas outlet. Didn't pay that much, just 221 shekels, what I think is a pretty decent price for free t-shirts, branded of course. Let's open up the car and put my things into the boots. Oh, there you go. Let's go. Netanya is the seventh biggest city in Israel and is situated around 30 kilometers north of Tel Aviv. From the first glance, it seems to be a new town with wide boulevards, modern high-rise architecture and lots of entertainment places like shopping malls, museums and beaches. Sadly, the weather sucked, so I couldn't go to the beach or walk around the town. However, Netanya is not only sunshine and perfection. I thought Netanya was everywhere really shiny and beautiful, but just check this out. Yeah, Netanya can also look like this, very bleak, full with traffic and full with older buildings. Well, this store right there is some really nice shoes and uh, clothes, but that's not... Yeah, you hear that right, people honk like crazy here because the uh, drivers here have absolutely no manners, it's really absolutely awful. And everyone drives those Kia Picantos, everyone! Well, at least that one looks really nice. It's the GT line, of course, but I swear on everything. That's uh, that's typical Israel. Honk, 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 and Picanto. That's it. That's Israel. It's already 3 p.m. and I'm basically losing my patience. I want to make so many things on my last day, but the thing is, the day is totally disgusting. It's started so beautiful. And now I miss it out that everything is just designed. And look who is there! This little, little bitch over here! Girl, remind me why we ain't together. We've got a magnetic connection. Moving so fast, let's take it slow Ain't gonna let you let me go So I'm with Eva here in the outlet mall of Azrieli in Herzegovina and we just want to browse around what kind of stuff it has here It has lots more stores than the outlets in, in Netanya and I think we're going us losers, we're going for some shopping. shopping! yes! Together with Eva, I went to the Azrieli outlet mall in Herzliya. A dude commented on my first vlog that I should go to this mall, claiming it is better than the 7 stars mall. Walking around the mall and entering the stores, I barely saw people and the prices weren't as promising as I expected them to be. Maybe one of the reasons is that the first hour of parking in the garage costs a whopping 26 shekels. Not even in Switzerland I have seen such an expensive place for a parking. Oh, that one looks really nice. Oh my god, that also cost you more? <laughs> yeah, because Tel Aviv! <laughs> Wow, it looks actually pretty nice. But and it's only for 40. Like the fabric, I don't know. Eva, Castro is only for people who um, who buy, you buy clothes for one season and then you throw them away. That's true. Just like H&M and all the other stuff. The sun is going down and this means there is not much time left. Let's rush out of Herzliya and go to the next city. As usual, the typical Tel Aviv traffic on the Ayalon Highway makes the trip longer than originally planned. Get in, loser! We're going to Humongous! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rom! Hi, Kapara! I don't want to go to the next one! Go, Sven! 
Hi. The trio is complete. Now let's go to Humongous. Oh, yes. oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Come out of. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's go. The beat the music is drop. And I have a new beat. Ada zof. Al kvishachov. Roch v'sar shotef etanof. Chevra me'achor. We're talking bliss off. Yeah, yeah. Off, yeah? Please, off, yeah? <laughs> yes, so guys, we are going to Yuman Guess as you heard Finally. before. Finally! I've been waiting months. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. That's me crazy. Me too, guys. Yeah, I need to be a bit careful because if the Eva drops the camera, she drops also the beat. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga on the beat. Nigga. Oh, yeah. Man, 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 man. Rom, do you want to play with something? Um, um, yeah, I will give you the camera and you will mount the the gimbal, okay? Right. Oh my god, stupid masses! Why is everyone driving this car? Popular? Not even in Switzerland you see this car that often. Like, you see the hatchback, but not the limousine like this. In Switzerland, the limousine is one of the rarest cars what you can find on the road. And here in Israel... <laughs> 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 And I'm here with my friend Ori, with his friend Ido, then here the usual posse with Rom and Eva. And yeah, you know Ori, he was once in my videos when I made the reaction about Dudu Favo. Yeah. That was like one of the best times when I what I made with you and peace Oh my god. And this was like one of the most awesome times I had with you together and I really could not wait to see you right here. Thank you. And yeah, we're going to enjoy the dinner right now. Let's go. Yeah, it will Let's be really go. amazing. Oh yeah, the restaurant is really really famous here in Givat Brenner, right next to the Hobot. And I hope that I'm going to get some nice stuff. There they have even a menu in English here, so everything is great. A kol besedel. And oi bien, it was amazing. Shalom! <laughs> Shalom kulam! Hey. I always like to make jokes of you, you know that? Oh yeah. Alright, guys, let's go to the outlet mall. What do you think? Let's go! Yay. Yeah, I hope it's still open though. Until when do more? Uh, does the... Around 10. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Like in Switzerland, they close at 8. Oh. So, uh, sometimes yeah. even earlier, you know. Pusses. Yeah, I know. So now it's seven and a half. Let's go. All right, let's go. So, guys, as you can see, we are at this outlet mall. How's it called again, Ori? Bilu. Bilu Center. The Bilu Center, and yeah, we want to go and uh, browse a little bit around, what, see what's going on here. So, follow me. We're going this way, right here. Woo! This is the Bilu Outlet Mall. I haven't covered a lot of footage for that one, but I must say it is so far the best mall I have visited in Israel. Lots of great stores with awesome bargains and free parking are waiting just on the outskirts of Rehovot, my third Israeli city for today. I regret not having discovered this place earlier, because then the shopping mall tours in the rest of the country wouldn't have been necessary. So guys, finished with shopping. Ori got, some re uh, got really lucky today with Woo! shopping. I got also some really nice shoes, but I don't know if they will fit my suitcase. If they don't fit in, I will give them Eva so she can send it to me back home. Because I came only with a very small suitcase and I already got two pairs of shoes. Oh my god, I believe this was a mistake. <laughs> We're now bringing Ori back home and then Rom and then Eva and me will continue and then we will pick up two other friends of mine. Do you want to guys say something, guys? Uh, Vlad is amazing, guys. Yeah, yeah thank yeah. you. Love the channel. Woo! Seriously, I really enjoyed the time with Vlados and, uh, today. And, uh, turn on <laughs> the bell button. Kapara alav, kapara al Vlados. Yeah. What did you say, Rom? And uh, turn on the bell button. Push the, on the bell button and subscribe. Exactly. That's what you really have to do. Really hit the subscribe button and push the bell button. So, guys, I'm here with my dude Mao, with He's Uriel. And with Bar, we're here in Tel Aviv and we want to get somewhere to drink and I actually parked here where I'm not supposed to park. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> oh, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Boriel, why are you gay? What? <laughs> He's, he's the lady guy. Yeah. Guys, you're funny, you know this, right? No, no, no. I usually no. twist his nipple, but I can't because it's cold. <laughs> he's usually gay. 
How can you be part-time gay, Bach? Can you explain? They are I'm not, they are I'm not gay. Together. Who said? What? He said that you used to be gay. Oh, I, I thought he said it about me. So, so to explain, how can you be part-time gay when you're usually gay but sometimes you're when not? When you're the dick, you are gay. When the dick is outside, you are not gay. So this means he is 99% no gay but 1% gay. A am I right? No. But listen, but, uh, John Wick. John Wick, yeah. How? John Wick, Lady oh, Gaga. Fuck off. A... No, you are Lady you are Gaga, this is John Wick. And I am uh, Michael Jackson. I am Michael Jackson, Lady Gaga. Yeah, you're already as black as Michael Jackson. I know that, that, no, you're black. like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, ooh. We are waiting for the winter. Winter, winter is coming. For the winter. Wait, did you see Game of Thrones? Winter, winter. Did you see Game of Thrones? I didn't say yes. Yes, I am Zain Zain. This explains everything. Nom 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 nom. Do you like it, Mao? Yeah. Nice, nice. Do you like that? Yeah, like it looks really, really good. Mmm, sunny. Tell that the, the, the waiter drop the bar beer. Cheap skills. <laughs> All of this. Mm. Nice. So, I've never had Israeli beer, but. This is like Alexander Pale Ale Alexander something. Blonde. Alexander Blonde. Blonde. Yeah, exactly. It's like an Israeli beer. I've never heard of it. I tried it before a sip and I want to drink this whole beer tonight. My first and my only beer in Israel during my whole trip. Cheers on you guys. How do you say in Hebrew? Cheers? Lechai. Okay, Lechai, guys. <laughs> I love it. We just finished the dinner and we just finished our drinks. Yes. So, guys, how did you like it with me together here? Very nice. Very good. Uh, don't go. Don't go. Oh, Vlad, I love you so much. He loves all the boys. He's gay. <laughs> He likes his twist slippers, dude. Yes, lach bul bul. Yes, lach osu. Yes, lach shi yes. Yes, lach osu. We're having here a really good time, but uh, but like every single good thing I need to finish, and I think we're going to leave soon. <laughs> Hopefully, I will come back soon to Israel because this country is just absolutely beautiful. I think I just didn't appreciate it enough. Oh, what a night! It is right now 3 a.m. I need to get up in let's say five hours. I'm really really tired. Tomorrow's the day of the departure. And I really really had a good time today even though it was really really stressful. Anyway, that was it from my side. I hope that you really enjoyed the video. Leave me a like if you came until this point so far. Also leave me a comment for some feedback as feedback is always good. Make sure to subscribe me because you don't want to miss any of my future videos. Do you want to stay in touch with me? My Instagram account and my Discord server are both linked into the description below. Stay tuned and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.